Hi, it's a great day in Cota de Casa. I'm on the first fairway of our south course. And today, inside our prickly pear cacti, we're going to take a look at a spider. And this spider is a silver argiope. It's argiope argentata. And this cacti has hundreds and hundreds of these spiders. Here we have some here. Now the females, they are larger than the males. They're about a half inch long. And the males are about a third of that size. And this cacti is just sprawling with these spiders. See over here. Here we got a real big one. Take a look at him. Wow. Now they are cannibalistic. Here's a female. She's a big one. Now they are cannibalistic. And so the female will eat the male after they mate. Now they have a strange way of killing their prey. So the larger prey, larger moths or butterflies, they'll bite them first with their venom and then wrap them up in silk to eat them. And then the smaller prey, they will wrap them up in silk first and then bite them. But not bite them for very long. And the theory is they don't want to waste their venom on the little guys. Here we have one here. They love this prickly pear cacti in Southern California. Now, although their venom is poisonous to insects, it's not poisonous to humans. So don't worry about that, but they will bite you if provoked. So his web it reflects ultraviolet light, which helps attract the pollinators, like the butterflies and the moths. And the zigzag here, now this puts them in the category of what's called zigzag spiders. Now there's usually four of these zigzags on a web, but this guy only has one. Now the pattern's believed to be attracting to insects, but also be thick enough to warn birds and other animals not to fly through this web. Now it's found that the spiders with more zigzags are more successful than the spiders without zigzags. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed our argiope, silver argiope spider on um, our cacti here in Cota de Casa. All right, have a great night. Bye.